boards. I'm James Cebulski. Well, the fans have already been treated to a great run here at home, and they'll try to finish off with one more W tonight. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Fires it on net. Love save made by Mason. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Handles the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Sends it quickly to Line. Goes right to the crease. That's blocked. Takes the puck behind the net. Here's a short pass to Jenner. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Columbus looks to move the puck from their own end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Let's the wrist to fly. That opportunity is rejected. I love this power move. It's all about shielding the puck, being aware of where your opponent is and where the placement of the puck is on your stick, using your leg to shield, using your arm to shield to create your own space. Just runs out of real estate here, and the goaltender reads it perfectly. Quick feed to Texier. There's a shot. Oh, what a stop. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Jerseys, hats, keychains. You name it, smartphone cases. They got you covered at the team store. Check them out online, or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Handles the pass. Oh, a clutch save! Oh, another great save right there! Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting there on top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Zone. Oh, lights out into the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Boom! Oh, wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Taken by Texier. Made that stop. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Here's a shot. Oh, close save and a beauty. Still lots of time left in the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, what a big time stop by Mason. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. What goes up makes the save. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Looking to set up offensively. Blocked in traffic. And he's ridden off the puck. Quick pass across to Boquist. Pass across to Parisi. They've got numbers here. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. Carries the puck up through center. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Pass in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Here we go, pucks in deep. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Kane's got the puck. Takes a shot. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Both teams are set, they're ready to drop the puck. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's intercepted by Warensky. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends it over to Jenner. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Oh, they so fast. He scores!
Kings, the credit always goes to the goal scorer, but how about this beautiful deke and gift of a pass? I mean, knowing how to draw the coverage to you, that is creativity at its finest. The Wild have pushed and pushed, and look at this. We've finally got the first goal of the game here, just past the midway mark of the frame. Yeah, it hasn't been a really open-up two-way game, has it, James? And now they found their offense. They found their footing, if you will, and this is really important. Timing can be everything in the game of hockey. They managed to switch the momentum, but now they've got to do something with it. Oh, and he completely missed the shot. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's up one step. Champions won the draw. Gostas Bears hold down. Penalty on the way. And that's turned aside. Let's it go for the back end. And another stop. Takes a feed at the point. Let's see what the official says here. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Granlin's out there on this power play, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to help the team score here, guys. Let's see how things play out. Minnesota's won the draw. to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do and in the interim he ran out of space misses the net and will play on well you work so hard to get these opportunities and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice still has possession mason's been so impressive in particular in that last sequence james and he is out of gas it didn't prevent him from making that save but now he's going to get some much needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone and they get the puck out of harm's way. Takes the shot. Kicked away. Nice pad save by the goaltender. Corrales ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Trying to shake loose. about this power play is it isn't predictable which means the pk doesn't know where that puck is going that's how you manipulate it that's how you open up lanes and this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice and it's buried minnesota's on a mission tonight boy do they look dialed in they look dialed in and they look fast there's so much motion everyone is moving and when they're moving they're disrupting coverage and giving themselves lots of looks at the net and they've been rewarded with a couple goals Trying to get back on the attack now. Grabbed along the boards by foot. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Handles that one. Save made by the goalie. What pressure here in the offensive end. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Minnesota's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Koivu's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Scooped up along the wall by Silverman. Piece of that one. Koivu's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it to Enroth. From the left side, they gain the zone. Shot! Great save! Puck picked up by Line. Quick pass to Jenner. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. As a power forward in the game, you go north south, and guess what? You deliver bone crushing hits just like that one. Bank pass feed. 
Great vision to see that stretch pass. Here's a pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Columbus moves it ahead. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. The Blue Jackets gain control of it. From the neutral zone now. And that's taken by the defense. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. Fantastic save! And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Minnesota's got the lead here late in this first period. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Niskanen. Now a quick pass to Cullen. Here's a chance. Blocker saved by Mason. The Blue Jackets move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, wow, devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Mason's the only reason that his team is in this game, James. I mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Minnesota's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. Johnson's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Here's a short pass to Wierenski. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. And he takes the feed. Handles it again. Here's a chance! There's the whistle as the net comes off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Takes it to the net, scores! And that's three! to the metal. Minnesota's now leading 3-0, and we're only in period number two. Well, they've had a commanding presence all game, and it's really been a game of keep away where they've dominated in terms of possession. They're finding ways to take it to the net, James. They're sharing the puck. They're doing all things well. You know that the coach is going to love this one. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. There's a hit on the play. Slides it diagonally to Wierenski. Rocked him! And he takes the dish. Oh, and gives up the body as he lays out for the block. What a selfless play. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Columbus has possession of it now. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. you got to keep your head up if you want to play this game and be safe in it. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Columbus has the puck. And now he angles it across to Provorov. Moves around along the half wall. Center into the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Up along the wing. Quick feed to Kane. And he 
gets a piece of that one and denies it. Kane well, he's Meyer. extremely dangerous when he has the puck on his stick. He's like a magician, and it's on a string. This time, though, the goaltender shuts him down. Too many bodies in the way. Moves it quickly over to Rostovic and makes the save. Tries to get it to Gostaspare. Receives the pass. And there's a big hit on the play. Physical hit shows engagement in sparking the team, and that's trying to ignite the fire in them. They certainly haven't been lit tonight. Moves it to Crossing. And look at this. They really ratcheted up the intensity here. There's a hit. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Slick feed. Love save. And an easy one at that. Mason's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take a penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. They had success earlier on the power play in this formation, James. Really like that high umbrella where you're using the top of the offensive zone to work some magic, weave some as you move the coverage around, and once you get them running, that's where you can open up your lanes and attack the net. And he takes the pass. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow, the whole team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. There's a collision. There's a hit. Oh, what a collision. Sends it in deep. The Wild have the puck against the boards. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Knocks the puck loose. Grabs the puck. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes the feed. Great hits up play with the stick by Cullen. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Rocked him in the open ice. And now he moves it to Granlin. Puck grabbed by Palmenville. Great poke check on the reach. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Wax it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Granlin. Minnesota's got it across the line. Shot! That's blocked by Mason. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Corrales side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Columbus has the puck in their own end. Into the offensive end now. There's a shot just wide. Well, this shot is really hard, James, but a nice reminder that if it isn't accurate, it doesn't stand a chance. And he can't hang on after that hit. Picked up along the wall by Gostas there. Columbus gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Here's a blast. Oh, how did that stay out? Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders and they lead here in the second. Line A's up and ready to get back on the ice. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. And that's offside, stopping the play. More than half the frame has been played here. Three nothing is where we sit. Columbus wins that face off at center. Shot! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And now it's grabbed by Koivu. With the blast! Oh, denies him with the paddle save! 
Bisons faced a high volume of shots from all different areas in their zone. I mean, his team has hung him out to dry, James. It needs to change or it's going to be a shallow. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick pass to Jenner. Scores! And look at this! Suddenly the right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity and it gets them within two. And this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. And if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. Looks good on that play. Now can they do it again? That's a timely goal, James. A very stagnant game for this team. Really not a lot of fire, not a lot of juice. And they get that one. And so that should elevate the heart rate a little bit and get the ball pumping in the right direction. What a hit on the play. Shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Here's a short pass to Champion. Minnesota's across the blue line. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. They've got numbers here. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Oh, hit right away. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Minnesota's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. Monahan's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Gives them a jolt with that hit. Takes the feed at center, moves up ahead. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Scandella's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Not trying to take your job, James, but I had to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Pominville. Good stand-up hit. Sits it to the middle, and it's blocked. Here we go, on man rush. stages of this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Silverberg's going to play it against the half wall. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Trying an empty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Poked away at center by Corrali. Quick shot! Denies him on the play. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Drop the puck here in period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Columbus has been behind the play most of this game, which means they're chasing it, James. I mean, they haven't been urgent, and their foot speed really slow. They really have to rethink how they've come into this third period. They have to make some adjustments and really look to attack if they want to get back in this game. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Columbus wins possession right off the draw. Came up with a nice save. And the puck's booted away. Angles it over to Johns. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Wierenski. Solid body contact. Puts it on that. Comes up with a monster save in front. He scores! Players taking a shot all the time in 
and practice with their skill coaches. And I'm telling you right now, this is perfect execution. Shooting in stride, quick snap of the wrist, and putting in the back of the net. Got to see where you want to be. His head was up the whole time. The Blue Jackets desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Now they're in the final frame here, but they got one back. And you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. Oh, and somehow he gets and he rings the post. Minnesota's continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post and out. Fires it on net. Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Goaltender spends so much time doing cracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Painted of a shot. Great save. Played it perfect. He's got a step. and even that wide stance. I mean, it is so difficult to shove him or jostle him off the puck. He maintains possession with that power, drives the net, and buries the goal. Minnesota's got the lead here in this third period, but Cheryl, I can't imagine they're going to sit back with this lead now. Well, they can't get complacent, that's for sure. I mean, this has been too tight of a game with an opponent that's going to be chomping at the bit now with sense of urgency. they got to manage the puck like they've done all game. they got to drive the lanes, but most importantly, they got to be defensively responsible. And he loses control here. Puck scooped up by Koivu. A point blank! Gets a glove on it to keep it out. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And they're going to walk for a line change after sending the puck in. Moves the puck. Swap up. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, wow! What a pass! More than half the period left to play. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Moves it to Johnson. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Commonville. And that's blocked from someone in front. From the open ice, they gain the line. Shot from the wall. And it comes up with the save. Quick pass to Parisi. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. And it's a quick pass to Pominville. Rocks him on the play. From the point, they take control of it. Great positioning in the defensive end. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Kane. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Can't connect on the shot. The Blue Jackets look to start the transition game. Drills them. The Wild have possession along the boards. Across the line, along the left wall. Here's a shot. Oh, he makes another save. Gaines back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and can feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Sends the pass over. Takes a shot. Oh, and he just got it. Bufflin's taking it from his own end. Take it along the wall by Pekka. And a great save! They are really dialed in here tonight. Takes, up the Takes the pass. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Tosses it to Corrali. Takes a shot, and he gets in 
front of that. Here they come on the attack. Leg chain off a stick and they can't connect. Here's a short pass to Enron. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Works it across to Archibald. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Moves the puck behind the net. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And serves up a little knock on the play. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Columbus gains a hold of possession. Here's a shot with the stop. Minnesota's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. He takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Played big in the moment there. And he slides it quickly to Gostaspare. And now he moves it quickly to Roslovic. And he takes the feed. Picked up along the boards by Roslovic. And he stops that cannon there. Wow. The Jets are coming up for the next game. And I was just told a little while ago that a few Extra seats have been released for this one, so if you haven't got your tickets yet, you know what to do. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck in their own end. And he lowers the boom there. Moves the puck along the half wall. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Roslovic. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Slides the puck to a coin. The Blue Jackets are on the attack. Nearing the final minute of the third. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Johnson's picking up steam. Lays into the body. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Poked away by Silverberg. Pass over to Johnson. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a one goal game at this point. 4 3 is the score. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels, after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency and attack. Feeds the puck to Kane. Pass stolen in the open ice. Minnesota's on the attack. Reaches out and uses the stick. Look at that hit. Maybe all the way. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Well, a complete team effort right from the goal all the way out to the front, and they continue to find ways to win. Listen, James, when you're winning games, it's easy to have buy-in, right? Everything's working for you, so you're trusting the process, and that's where you see the real good habits. Tonight was another product of that. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.